Hello and welcome back to Let's Backflip. I'm Ryan Fring. Joining me today, we have Jeff Bell. Hey, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> was that a yodel? Yeah, I think that was a yodel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I decided that's how I'm going to say hello from now on. You're so excited because today we're taking a, a look back at 2017 and what a glorious year it has been. Oh man, what a year that that was. I'm so glad we had that year. Yeah, and now we're in 2018. Are you excited? I am very excited because hopefully it's even better and even more exciting <laughs> and even even more awesome across the board. <laughs> I don't know if you can sense it in there, but Jeff has a lot of editing he's working on, so he's graciously giving us time to talk about some awesome things he did last uh, last year. So, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. This will be fun. Thank, thank you, Jeff. Have, you're welcome, Ryan. Oh. So, uh, what's, what's some standout things from last year, you know, looking back? So, probably one of the biggest things for me of 2017 that I was really happy and really, uh, really proud about was that we got around to making a short that I had written a handful of years prior. Um, the short itself was this silly little idea that there's a noise going on upstairs in someone's house and, or in this person's home, and him and his roommate are too scared to go up and find out what is making the noise upstairs. And that is, that's the entire bit. And it, it all came off of the, uh, the concept of just, of, of the funny interaction of like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going up there. You want to go up there and try to tag? I don't, I, we don't even know what it is. Are you yeah, causing the noise? Right. And then all the distractions that happened. So it was kind of an exciting uh, experience because we got to, we, we, we took over uh, one of our friends' house for the weekend. They were gone. So we just took over. We filmed it in two days. And the crew that was a part of it kind of used it as an experiment or as an excuse to try out some new stuff. Yeah, uh, right, right. So like John Klein uh, mm -hmm. was our uh, was our cinema or was our camera op. Uh, he brought some really awesome like anamorphic, like legit anamorphic widescreen lenses. Mm -hmm. Which, okay, uh, we we edit, we do 4K, we do awesome looking stuff. We've never used right an anamorphic. I've never edited with anamorphic widescreen, and I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to actually because it's so much picture. <laughs> it, it was so insane. And it crunches it into the sensor, so yeah. you have to pull it. So then you have to pull it. Out. Yeah, you have to stretch it back out. Coffee, <laughs> almost a tragedy with yeah. the coffee spill, but, but we I'm didn't. Great, sounds good. You caught all yeah. that spill. I did. Uh, yeah, the, the, the like it, it, it crunches it all down and fit into the sensor, so you right. have to stretch it all back out again, which mm -hmm. was an interesting uh, experience. <laughs> but the whole experience, because then I got to I edited my own short film, which I also starred in. Yeah. I didn't direct it, so I wrote, starred, <laughs> and edited. It's a weird combination. So, uh, uh, not, not quite Wiseau. Right, exactly. Right, right. like, I'm not going to do it all, yeah. uh, but I will do most of it to ensure that I also did the visual effects. So, really, I yeah. did, like, 90% of the film. Yeah, that's I mean, that's lie. that's what it is to be a filmmaker, though, uh, to take ownership and do everything you possibly can to make exactly. something work. Yeah. And I wanted to do it, and I knew what I wanted for the editing style, the editing side of it, so I'm like, yeah, no, I got it. Mm -hmm. I want to take care of this. Yeah. No worries. No, it's so. great. You should check it out. It's, uh, what is it, Upstairs? Upstairs. Upstairs. Um, and the wonderful Maximilian Olmsted yes. plays your, your counter in that, and he's <laughs> hilarious. Um, I think the the one thing that I loved about the script and the, the short is the, um, you'll have to remind me of the mm -hmm. trilogy, but it's like Shaun of the Dead and like yes. that aspect of it, of silliness happening, but you're totally... Um, straight. You're totally right. playing it straight, and it's ridiculous. And there is something crazy, and we don't see a monster, which is great. Right. Yep. And that's, <laughs> and that's the that's the big thing that I wanted. I'm like, I didn't know. I mean, I still to this day don't quite know what it is. But like, I don't know what the monster is. But that's not the important part. The important right, part is exactly. that there's just something in the house. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we do. We we like. It's it's a very classic like comedy duo type film. You know, type short film. And you know, Max is more of the funny. He's more of the the comedic. <laughs> sidekick I'm more of the straight man but that doesn't say that we don't have like those roles don't flip at spots right you know right. like I do get I do get a little goofy in one or two spots Max <laughs> does get a little serious in one or two <laughs> spots uh, and then we whenever and then the other nice thing for anybody who wants to watch it if you do watch it is that we purposefully did it or I like cut it in a way and we performed it in a way where whenever Max is not on screen it is flat out a serious movie it is flat ah. out a serious thriller. It's intended to be, sh it was shot like that. The tone is like that. Right. There's maybe like a gag in mm -hmm. it, but otherwise just when, then when Max is on camera, oh, it's a little lighthearted, it's a little sillier. There's right. still some tense moments, but we do kind of play with the genre a little bit right. and kind of bounce between that thriller horror. Well, and I think comedy. that's, that's what makes it work really, really well is the fact that it is a, a it's played straight as a thriller with a goofy character and some goofy situation that kind of happens. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still, still a little scary. Yeah. Um, but it's very enjoyable. It makes me think of like, um, cabin in the woods. 
Yes. Uh, more recently uh, from Joss, Joss Whedon or produced by Joss Whedon, um, which is great because it plays with kind of the um, the horror genre mm-hmm. while turning it on its head and making it into something else and making it about people, which is really, really great, which I think Upstairs does as well. All right, so we got um, Upstairs. What else do we got? So one of the other big things that I, well, I, I do want to talk, there was a lot of projects that we did over the course of 2017, mm-hmm. that was just a blast. A lot of the, a lot of the work that we did for a bunch of our clients were, was uh, was awesome. It was definitely a lot of new stuff. We we and I'm trying to think off the top of my head some of the stuff that we came across. Um, uh, we did a fully animated project for a client for right. for for them. That was I, I didn't draw it, but it was fully animated. It was like seven and a half minutes long yeah. uh, with character, video, animator, character right? animation. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, character animator, which I learned for that project. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, but we, then we did just, you know, a lot of like information. We did a lot more funny videos, a lot mm-hmm. more uh, lighthearted, um, humorous projects uh, for various different clients over the course of the mm-hmm. year. And it was kind of nice. And then and then little things like I, uh, you guys were graciously allowed me to write the one Meter short things. for me to, yeah, me to things, which was yeah. from mg e which was just a lot of fun. That was kind of that 80s-esque suspense horror-esque type movie. It was like Stranger Things. It was like Stranger Things, basically, yeah. <laughs> and and that was a lot of fun. I'm sorry. Excuse me. This is your first podcast. That's my first podcast <laughs> that I've done in six years. Yeah, How that's many podcasts like, have you done? Um, to, my right? na- to my name, I've done six different shows, and I have over like 200 episodes, 300 episodes nice. total. So, I, yeah, I don't do any podcasting, period. Not even include, that doesn't even count these. I have didn't even take into account these. Yeah, I have at mm-hmm. least like 300. Yeah. I swear, my phone only goes off like once every 15 episodes. It's hilarious. Check it. I, I should have. That was TC anyway. So, sorry, oh, TC. Nice. I'm just calling you out right now. Uh, no, that, but that was a lot of fun. That was a good chance to, because I, I don't do a lot of writing for us just because I'm mm-hmm. usually tied up with editing, right. which in its own right is editing. To a, or yeah, a writing to a degree. You do get to do a lot of writing there, but it's not writing a script right. necessarily. And this one was a lot of fun because it was it was the concept from the client, and then John and I for spent like 15 minutes and basically hashed out what the script was, mm-hmm. and I took that, and by the end of the day, it's like I had, here's my 11-page script, and the client liked that script and just went, yep, yep. We're gonna film that, <laughs> and that was kind of where we went from it. Eight yeah. pages, or I yeah, we had to condense it a little bit down and add in like two little things, yeah. but a lot of that uh, timing just came out in editing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So those are good. We had we had meter things, which is more of a narrative. Mm-hmm. Then we had Electric City, which was also a narrative. It was kind of like sci-fi um, ambiance, or you know, ambient. Right. Like it was kind of unique. Which was a lot of foley pleasure. work that I or a lot of sound design work That's for right. that one that yeah. I've I I'm. It is something that I've always kind of like dabbled in a little bit, but this year, 2017 was the year of of just sound effect, like Foley mm-hmm. work and like and sound design work for mm-hmm. for so many shorts because it started early in the year where we had a client ask if we could put more natural sounds in the videos, and then that kind of led to well, I just kind of started putting a little bit more like little bits yeah, and pieces right, and stuff, right. and then we hit we hit uh, Electric City that was just. Like with all the pretty all visuals, the, just all yeah. the sound design you can do, you right. know, him walking, like opening the door, turning the light switch on, walking across mm-hmm. the floor, shutting a cap, like all of that Foley work. And it was, I've never, I <laughs> I had done it and it helps definitely with upstairs because I had to do it with upstairs as well. Right, right. So it was just kind of this year of, hey, let's just do all sound design stuff right. too. Well, and those two and, and meter things, but especially <laughs> electric city and upstairs really benefit from those moments of silence with sound effects or mm-hmm. silence with uh, you know, environment effects, which you're like, no, there's, there's not, there's no sound. There's no, nothing there. If, if you were to watch it and, and think about it, but in reality, there's a lot. You're yeah. Like, oh, all these natural sounds you just assume and you think there's no music, there's no voice, right? But there's lots of other sounds that make the sound bed that make it feel real, right? Which I think uh, upstairs had really great. Electric City was really great, and meter things. Yep. Yeah. Well, and I guess that that brings us to the other commercial too, which will never air potentially. <laughs> Um, just because of a, a marketing change from the company, and that's Elf, that's yep. worst Elf ever, which was fantastic. Um, that had a lot of foley as well. Yeah, um, just to really accentuate the Elfness and the shopping. Lots of uh, that was fun. That was a, that was a good like hour and a half of trying to find the correct tinkling bell <laughs> sound because in in the short, well, you uh, in uh, you were wearing the outfit back mm-hmm. in Halloween time, uh, but like there's a hat and there's a tiny little bell on it and you guys removed the bell for the, or like the little ball the, inside the, the ball, bell yeah. for recording so that way it doesn't just get picked mm-hmm. up all the time in, in the, the microphone. So it's like I had to add the bell back mm-hmm. in 
And you would think it'd be easier to find a clinkling little bell sound. Yeah, a little jingle bell. Yeah. Not so much. Everything is like giant sleigh bells <laughs> or literal like yeah. like city hall church bells where it's like everything i kept finding and i finally found somebody who had who had recorded and because i of course i could have found my own i could have recorded it myself but then yeah. i didn't know because again it's this is the masterful editing or the, the mastery of editing and sound design the bell itself in the hat didn't sound like the bell you would expect it to be it sounded too oh, really like like plasticky, not the oh, real wow. like jingly that you would yeah. expect that to sound like. So I couldn't use the bell in the hat. I'd mm -hmm. have to have, I had to find another sound effect oh, anyways. That's super interesting. Interesting in that <laughs> you're basically saying the real thing did not sound correct. Right. So you got something fake yep. to make it sound correct. To make it sound correct. And the <laughs> one that I got is actually three bells jingling at the same time. Not just one. The oh, hat yeah. only has one, but it only oh. ever sounded like one. So that's fully work fun stuff that we've done. Um, anything else that sticks out that uh, was significant about 2017? I mean, the only other thing that I can personally think of for, for me that that stuck out was I really, and I've been kind of doing it for the last couple of years for like us, mm -hmm. but this year, uh, 2017, I started doing a little bit more 3D work again just for my own benefit. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> like we, we've been doing like uh, like box mock-up, mock, box mock Ups, yeah. hard to say. Bach mock up. Bach mock up. Box mock up, box mock up, box mock up. Hey. Well, you show get the off. You just gotta get the rhythm. <laughs> it's just a rhythm. You didn't say it three times. I did not say so. it three times. I said it once and then I stopped. <laughs> Mix six, biddle Wow. Mr. Meeseeks? Mr. Anyway. Meeseeks. <laughs> ah, Mr. Meeseeks. That was pretty good. <laughs> ah, Mr. Meeseeks. Uh. Mr. Meeseeks is sad. <laughs> Oh, I want more <laughs> to help episodes of that season. I do too. That's so brilliant. <laughs> Please let us die. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So the the 3D work that I started doing again on uh, my own, I I I loved doing it back in college, and I kind of did it for a little while freelancing outside of college for some web series. Mm -hmm. And then when I started here, I brought a little bit of it into certain stuff like the, well, actually this, that was all 2017, but I started doing the box art mm -hmm. or the box modeling uh, prior to 2017. But then this year it became full blown, like I'm modeling, I'm, I'm building a 3D model of our entire office and studio, which is about 56% done. Uh, <laughs> that number, I don't know. We keep building things and keep changing it. So I can't, well, I to can't be clear, keep up. You have, you have like the, the, uh, floor plan, right? Yeah, the floor and plan. the walls and things. It's just, you're adding an insanely awesome amount of detail. I modeled, I spent an hour and 45 minutes modeling one of my speakers on my desk. <laughs> Not at work, mind you. <laughs> Would have been okay. Yeah. Uh, we, I do have a picture too of the front entryway um, of the render versus the real right. like uh, decorating that we did, which is so cool to see. Because <laughs> I started modeling the stuff that we want to do and we want to see what it looks like in 3D mm -hmm. before we we actually do it. And you know, I'm, I look at it and I'm like, no, the wood is not correct on the wall. And I'm in the process of going back and fixing that, even though we don't need to, but it's like, yeah, I'm doing it, I, I can do it. <laughs> uh, so like I started in, your model. in my model, fixed, yeah. I'm fixing it. Like, so I started doing stuff like that and then that got me onto my own free time to revisit a project that I'd done in college for a grade, mm -hmm. which was this back alleyway uh, of my made up city that all my short films take place in and all that, so whatever. Uh, I did it even back then. So this is not like a recent thing. This is a thing that's been going on for 16 years. Yeah, uh, the, 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 so I like, I, I took this model that I'd done 10 years ago at this point really long time ago, like I knew some stuff in modeling, but mm -hmm. I'm so much better at it now. And I'm like, let's remake this. Let's clean it up. Let's fix it. Let's do it correctly. Yeah. And to detail. And, and I've been working on that. And it's been, it's been nice because in the last year, my 3D modeling has gotten 10 times better. I'm so much faster just between the work that I do here for our, for, for the, for the office and mm -hmm. then just on my own time. Plus, it's honestly relaxing mm -hmm. because I can shut my mind off and just be like, I'm going to model a garbage can today. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah, all right. I sit there and I do. All right. Well, um, what else is there? We kind of touched on business. We touched on personal. Anything else looking back that stands out? Man, it was it was a year that I don't know where the time went. You know, <laughs> you're I, getting I, older. I know, and that's you know, what, and I remember when I was young, my dad used to tell me that he's like, "Boy, you think your summers are going fast now? Wait till you get older, and psh, you're not gonna be able to hold on to those suckers." Yeah. And I'm like, "No, Dad, you're old, and you don't know any better." And I'm sitting there going, "Dang, 
I don't know what happened the last four years. I don't yeah. know where they went. Right. The fact that we're mm-hmm. that well, we're already a little ways into 2018 when we're recording this, right. and I don't know where the last three weeks went. Mm-hmm. I know I was working. And I was sleeping. <laughs> you know, 2018, it, it, it feels weird to not be 2017, but it doesn't feel as weird as it normally does to be a new year. Mm-hmm. Do you Are you experiencing that, or is that just me and I'm weird? No, I can see it. I, it it's it's the, it's the Every year, that's like, oh, it's a whole brand new year, and mm-hmm. okay, we're bad. What, that year's done and gone. I don't know if 2017 was just, for me, 2017 went so fast that it's still, and now 2018 is still going just as fast, mm-hmm. that I haven't. It hasn't sunk in that it's 2018 in my head yet. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, in the middle of May, I'm just going to freak out. And be like, <laughs> it's 2018! <laughs> Your mid-quarter crisis. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's weird because... Just stumble off like Usually, that. yeah. <laughs> we'll find you just in the parking just lot, still walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, it's now 2019. You've been walking around for nine <laughs> for, months. For nine months. It's um, been a long time. Usually, it's this experience where when, it, when the New Year starts and you start writing 18 or 19 or mm-hmm. whatever... It's weird to me, but I, and maybe I don't know if I'm getting older, if I just care less or <laughs> maybe I uh, achieved more last year than I've ever achieved and I didn't feel behind. That's probably not it at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a weird experience because we're in 2018, but it doesn't it doesn't quite feel like the future. Well, maybe it'll be 2019 or 2020. And that's when blow my mind. That's when it'll be like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, exactly. new new decade. The yeah, new decade's going to throw me off. Yeah. So looking forward <laughs> into uh, the rest of 2018 what are you what are you looking forward to what are you excited about I'm hoping to do more of the stuff that I did in 2017 uh, I'm, I'm just looking f- I don't know I'm looking forward to more of this not more of the same I don't want to be like you hey. know I've hit a plateau hey no I, I want to encourage you <laughs> that more of the same can be nice at different times. At different times. You know, not everything changing all the time. Like after I got out of college and had an apartment even for a year mm-hmm. and and or two years and didn't move it was insane i was like well i'm i'm not moving i don't have to change i can do something it. regular <laughs> and then now with kids getting older having like regular evening schedules right. i'm like oh wow we get the dishes done and then we can sit and read or sit and watch a movie or do something seemingly boring seemingly boring but the I same know it's thing gonna as happen. last night but <laughs> <laughs> yeah so cherish that yeah i <laughs> The ability to go home and just be like, I'm going to watch a six and a half hour documentary about Friday the 13th. <laughs> well, that's probably the challenge, too, is then you have many options. Yeah. You know, almost with, too many. with many options, you're like, oh, my gosh, why this or why that or why that? I'm not going to decide. I'm just going to do this. And then I'm not going to feel good afterwards because I didn't choose what you know, how I how I was uh, using my leisure time. Right. So it's life. more of the same. More of the same. 2018. That's my Presidential resolution? resolution, yeah. Or I was gonna say like my my your my, midterm presidential resolution. Yes, more of the same. Twenty eighteen. It's just me kind of going. <laughs> Keep America kind of right, kind of right there. I'm <laughs> just gonna keep on keeping Why on. Change 2018. Why thing? I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again so much, Jeff, for uh, coming over here, taking time was, out of your actually busy day. Uh, Sometimes I joke about that with the other people. Yeah, <laughs> it's you. like I just okay. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Let's keep the same thing for 2018. Jeff Bell. So next week we'll have John. This will be episode 15 next week talking about one thing you can do to grow your business. So I'm interesting to see what that is and see if he can do it for my business. Uh, that'd be great if he could or do it for yours. Yeah. Oh, I suppose he is part of the business, isn't he? <laughs> so tune in next week. <laughs>